Oh, hey guys, how are you guys doing? How are you guys coping? I hope you guys are doing all right. Um, staying fit. Um, with this, the video following, um, it's um, it didn't turn out the way I wanted to. It was um, I I had two missions in mind. Um, one was to show people where Cork Alley was. Uh, in with respect to where the green belt starts, where Constantia starts, where Road Drive is. I know a lot of you have been there before. As just for those who haven't been there and are looking for more trails to ride, I thought maybe I should you know, I could show them exactly where it was. And the second rewind was to see if I can actually help out with the fallen branch or tree. See maybe I can make a difference, you know, like sh shove, it, uh, shove it out the way or something. Uh, or cut it or uh, something or uh, maybe I can make a difference um, but yeah I like um, but that that video didn't turn out the way I wanted it to because um, uh, you'll see in the video um, I've, I've done that trail so many times I've done every single part but it just shows you what a lack of concentration can do to you and not being prepared but yeah have a look at the video and um, yeah, just a word of warning, it is quite, um, I wouldn't say graphic, it's quite, the sound is quite disturbing, if you don't like it, you can turn off the sound if you want, but yeah, it's, it's uh, yeah. yeah, enjoy, and let me know what you think. Hey guys, um, you guys didn't know where Cork Alley was, in case you didn't know, Cork Alley is when you come past, some, uh, was it Rhodes Drive, you can see on the right, and going down to the left, go to Constanta, uh, Constanta's up there, first of all, is that way, and then this, uh, thing, the, the uh, green belt starts over there. And if you go further up, you go to Constanta, that way, and um, so Cork Alley starts, if you look that way, it goes through and ends up by Kirstenbosch. So I'm going to take you there so you can see which, where it ends, where it starts. And the little trail that starts inside of Rhodes Drive, which is on that side. All right, there's a lot of people here. There. The Cork Alley is quite popular. It's got a few trails or leading lines as you guys can see it goes off to my right and then this one over here the one on the right the right the route here but less active Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. 
Oh fuck. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, sitting on it. Oh fuck yeah. It's all good. It's all good. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh my back. Oh my hip. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh, fuck. Now the question is, am I still recording? I am, is my bike okay? Oh, it's badly twisted. Ow, I fell off my shoe. Oh, fuck. Uh, that's fine. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. My hip. Oh, my God. Oh, well, had a bit of a tumble. I think that's the end of my ride. Um, my bike, well, as you can see, it's a bit twisted. Uh, no, I think just the handlebars need to be fixed. I'll have to look what my pedals and my... Oh, fuck. Uh, I took the dirt with. Uh, what happened? I hit that. I landed over here with my handlebar skew. It hit that, so it came from there, in there, hit the tree, and then it threw me out uh, onto the stump and into the the soil over here. So I was going to show you guys Cork Alley. Well, this is Cork Alley. The reason why it's Cork <laughs> my ribs. The reason why this is called Cork Alley, the trees. Well, it's not this one. The ones down there. I made out of cork, or they're cork trees, not made out of cork, they're cork trees. Um, and then the other side of road drive is that little trail that goes up all the way back to the green belt again. Well, sorry I couldn't take you guys, take you guys through the entire route, but um, yeah, I think my ride's over, over now. But um, yeah, look after yourself, look after each other, and stay safe. So yeah, so you guys saw that. Um, it was um, it wasn't it wasn't pleasant. It just took me to totally by surprise. Um, I was fooling around the bike, setting up my suspension. I wasn't concentrating on the trail. And when the roots came, I was I tried to get uh, just get over it, to jump over at the top. Um, but yeah, my front wheel just slid went up and slid off to the side and connected sideways and then that ejected me into the tree as you saw and then that forced me to hit hard uh, to the left right onto my side um, I landed <laughs> I got ejected out of my shoe um, so the end result to that was um, three fractured ribs um, damaged shoulder I think I, I heard some ligaments leg, uh, torn ligaments in there I'm not 100% sure but I'm not gonna it's paid 900 bucks for someone to do ultrasound to tell me I tore the ligaments so clearly I'm enough to take easy on my arm, on my arm. but yeah it's my my ribs the fifth the seventh and the eighth rib is fractured and a possible hip or um, pelvis fracture but we're waiting for my doctor to come back 
um, the ER doctor couldn't read the, the uh, x-rays well so yeah um, he said it was the 8th and the 9th meanwhile there's three and then also I have a massive hematoma um, I'm gonna put it up in the corner over there on my my side the size of my head literally it just um, grew like crazy um, badly bruised yeah, I think the, the most painful part is the is my shoulder I can't I can't move my arm properly over my that's pretty much it as, as far as I can move it um, that's the most painful one and the ribs only hurt when I cough or sneeze or something and also the the hematoma I can't lie down on that side at all so it's, uh, it's pretty painful but yeah so it was it was <laughs> The video didn't turn out the way I expected it to, um, but that's, uh, it, it's the way it is, mountain biking. We all love it, so we all know the risks. And um, yeah, so at the end of the day, I must just pay attention more. It clearly is my fault. Um, so yeah, you guys um, look after yourselves, take it easy, um, look out for each other, take care of each other, and um, be safe.